So I've got a little problem with my can crusher and that it seals too tightly at the top and at the bottom and no air can escape. So it's actually trying to compress the air until eventually the can will rupture. And it ruptures and there's a little bit of soda in each can, you know, just whatever's left. And that then comes spraying out at me. Let's see if we can illustrate. I'm going to hold up a towel to block it and we'll see the soda fly all over the towel. There you go, perfect example. Run it on the wall, all over the place, makes a mess. So what we'll do now is cut a little hole here in the top, just pierce the can there, test my theory. Paper towel again, nice and clean, and no spray because the air vented out. Let's try it again on another one. So what I need to do now is figure out a way to either pierce the can or let the air escape. I had a gentleman tell me that he had a 55 gallon barrel crusher and they would crush 55 gallon barrels just like this uh, with obviously a gigantic machine or something much bigger than mine. But uh, anyway, so they ended up putting a spike. Uh, at one end of the machine, which I, it was probably horizontal or whatever, and so that spike would then pierce the can and, or the barrel and allow the air to drain out. So I don't want to spike the bottom because then it's not a nice smooth surface and it makes the cans hard to slide in and out. Um, I don't want to spike the top because I just don't want to spike up there. That spike will end up either hitting this or bringing the can up with it. So I think a spike is out. I need though to let the air escape. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cut uh, a relief channel in the underside of my puck, probably just across. And that way, as this can compresses, the air tries to escape up out the top, out the mouth, because, you know, otherwise it's a, it's a great seal. So with a, uh, with a channel cut along here, the air can then come up out of the can, engage, you know, the little dado air channels and then escape. The air can escape. And since I'll have four of them, they won't need to be really deep or anything. Just enough to get this volume of air out of the can in X number of seconds. Alright, we've got the puck finished. See see that? There we go. I'll throw in a picture of what it looked like when it was machined. But uh, it's going to work out great. Those little air channels are going to let the air pass out. It'll no longer be sealed tight against the top of the can, and I don't have to worry about it splattering all over the place. All right, let's see how this works. No splatter. Excellent. That one's dry. There we go. I'd say that works. Awesome.